All right, you guys feeling good? How was the intermission? You guys walk around, use the bathroom, all the such? Yeah. Anyways, all right, so without further ado, we have that. Yeah. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah. Just because we're hosts doesn't mean we don't have any talent. For example, I'm a great bogo sticker, and Eli has an incredible Michael Jackson impression. <laughs> Alright, he's a mediocre Michael Jackson impression. Alright, anyways, first up we got Christian Hornig, Fitterin, and Noah and his Baker performing the Louisiana Purchase. The 19th century saw Napoleon Bonaparte exert his new military's might upon Europe to regain the glory of France's past. Naturally, Britain and their allies declared war. Napoleon needed funds to support his efforts. He sought to sell his North American land, and U.S. President Jefferson, that's me, was looking to buy. Jefferson sent his ministers to France to negotiate the purchase of New Orleans and his strip of land across Florida. But the deal the French proposed exceeded all expectations. Bonjour, I'm Mr. Smith. I'm here to speak on behalf of Mr. Jefferson. Let's get down to business. Yes, I would like to propose a deal. Ten mil for New Orleans. This strip of land is fair, I feel. I'm sorry, Mr. Frenchman, say you want to raise the price, but I don't think you should. What? You said all of Louisiana for just 15 mil. Well, that's a steal. I'm glad to see we could seal the deal. Now let's celebrate and enjoy a fruitful meal. And just like that, a deal was made, we doubled the nation size, but we realized a problem still remained. This new land was very unfamiliar, so we needed to hire a talented explorer. And I knew just the guys for the occasion. They're a part of the core discovery, waiting for a chance to leave their mark on the nation. It's none other than Lewis and Clark, Lewis and Clark, Lewis and Clark. Here, I've got some really big news. Mr. Jeff wants me to search Louisiana with you. Come on, man, we gotta grab his stuff. We gotta hit the road. We gotta get the job done. We travel through the pine lands, pining after new lands, living off what we can, painting gold in the sand. So far from home, I'm kinda missing my wife, but if I gotta be honest, time away from her is always not. The path felt like this. We started right into Lewis, then we loaded the boats, and I had a drink with Lewis. We followed the Missouri, dragging the boats upstream. We were tired and hungry and needed an epic. There was not a scene. A month or two, our journey things are going kinda whoa! Uh, guys, I think he might have fell. Oh, don't worry, man. I'm all right up next. We take a right into the night. We're losing light to a few scenes. Some folks, it'd be best to tell jokes to sway them from sharpening our boats. You know the danger of communicating with strange nations surrounded by fours they hide to have. They throw out what doubt us. Don't for a second believe that they need us for what we have. The sooner tell us to leave. Give us a window to dash. Lewis, up there. On the cliff. They've the men. Get a weapon. Get in line. On a fence. Earth, we're on fire. We need ammo. Where's our supplier? Look on the cliff. There's a girl. She tells the natives to offer peace. I approach the girl with Lewis. You already know her name. The fame native Sacasac. Sack a second, you will! I was pregnant to help deliver her descendant. John Matisse, the baby, and his native brother, lady. She led us through the rough terrain, the landing grave into her brain. Then we reached the rock as we had seen her as her saving grace. The weather was cold. We were close together to find a way to keep ourselves out of the cold, growing old. As we make a trek along the cave, can't you get loose it now? When something draw toward our grave. Graves in great dangers. The land was a stranger, but we pushed and we pushed with Miss Miracle, the ranger. We passed the rock as we dragged our limp bodies. Perseverance here and clear of interference, clearing the land, drawing nearer with our supplies, disappearing into. Ocean ahead, ocean ahead, ocean ahead. At last, Lewis, our journey is finished. You and me will go down in history. Now we can rest our weary heads upon a warm bed and go back home now with our lives to our lovely wives and Mark. What about the way back? Oh. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Bum bum bum. 
Mr. Jefferson. Who is it? It's me, sir. Lewis. Lewis, it's been two years since you've been back. Two years, four months, ten days to be exact. Well, sit down, old friend. Your journey has finally reached. Say everything that has occurred. It was a lot, sir, but it went something like this.